Hello and welcome to Altman G Score Plus application. This application has been developed in collaboration with Dr. Edward Altman, Professor of Finance at New York University's Leonard Stern School of Business and the inventor of G Score model. My name is Sribat Sodas. I am the CEO of Business Compass LLC. I have the great pleasure to walk you through the functionalities of this application. This application analyzes corporate credit risk. It predicts 1 to 10 years of default probability into the future, generates percentile ranking within the industry, estimates bond rating equivalent, calculates G, G prime, G double prime scores for public and private companies, analyze corporate risk snapshot of a company, analyzes historical trends, compares companies, analyzes a company by entering data manually as well as uploading the data. Today you are used to receiving the G score and G double prime score for the public lead trader company. This application offers you default probability, 1 to 10 years into the future, bond rating equivalent and percentile ranking. In addition, you can analyze private companies. And these are the insights you receive through this application beyond the traditional G-score. The main menu, the file, edit, help, in the file you have open a CSV file, save screenshot, save as a result, print, exit, edit, copy images to clipboard, copy data to clipboard, on help you have about, tutorial, primer, frequently asked questions, file upload guide and various sample data file formats that you can download. So now the tabs are current snapshot, analyze current snapshot of a company, analyze trend, uh, three years of quarter over quarter uh, trend for a company, compare two or more companies, analyze your own portfolio, analyze a score, analyze one year financials by manually entering the data, analyze three years financials by manually entering the data, upload a financial data file and process through the application upload a score file and process the applications. At the bottom, there are shortcuts to Bloomberg uh, functions and you can visit the G-score function by clicking on AGS. Okay, so now let's take a look at the current snapshot of a company. We entered uh, F for Ford. Um, you can hit uh, F8 or equity uh, key and then the application provides us the G score, G double prime score, percentile ranking uh, within the industry across the manufacturing sector and bond rating equivalent uh, then 1 to 10 years of default probability on the right hand side uh, we see the a chart line graph of the probability of default over time the blue line represents existing bonds and loans and the red line represents new bond loan PD. Now to enter a foreign company for example Fiat which trades in Milan let's hit um, enter. What you see here is it cannot uh, figure out what the industry classification the company belongs to so therefore it is asking. So let us select the industrial and commercial and hit submit. Okay, Trend. You can actually enter the equity information ticker symbol and the application will generate quarter over quarter uh, credit risk data for the company. We have uh, dates, G, G double prime score, percentile uh, ranking within industry across all industries, bond rating equivalent existing bond loan probability of default 1 to 10 years into the future and the new bond loan PD 1 to 10 years into the future and here are some of the the legend items and at the bottom uh, the scores have been plotted over time so you can actually see the trend. 
then compare companies uh, so the two or more companies you can enter them with uh, comma separation and then the application fetches the data analyzes presents you the summary and then the line the, the column graph of the scores and then portfolio you can actually visit your portfolio by entering PRTU and go and that is also at the bottom there is a shortcut to it and then you hit submit so what this uh, functionality will do it will actually uh, generate the scores uh, percentile ranking bond rating equivalent and probability of default uh, for these companies and then also provide you a column graph of the scores for these companies um, both G score and G double prime score so you, you can actually analyze a score say you enter the score you say which sector it belongs to and then hit submit and in that case so it uh, calculates the details as well as presents you the PD over time analyze one year financial so we enter the financial data, we enter current assets, current liabilities, return earning, EBIT, sales, book value of liabilities, uh, shares outstanding, share price, uh, total assets, intangible assets, and we selected um, whether it's a public company, private company, manufacturing, non-manufacturing, US, foreign, and we selected the industry and then hit submit and this is uh, what is calculated so next is three years uh, we can actually select whether a company is a US company um, public company private company manufacturing non-manufacturing industrial segment and enter data up to three years and then hit submit and then the application actually calculates the analysis for us okay so this is the trend over time and this is what is calculated next you can actually um, upload a financial data file so for example the petroleum industry so you can actually upload the file and the application is going to calculate for you similarly you can actually upload a score file and uh, so there you see so this application analyzes a current credit risk snapshot analyzes trends compares companies analyzes credit risk per portfolio analyzes the score analyzes one year financials analyzes three years financials and uploads and processes financial data files as well as score files and this application offers you insights such as bond rating equivalent, percentile ranking within the industry and probability of default 1 to 10 years into the future beyond the traditional score that you are used to receiving. With this, thank you very much for your valuable time. Please visit our website altmapgscoreplus.com or find our application by visiting apps altman hitting go on bloomberg terminal thank you very much